It's been a long time since an anime opening gave me chills, like this opening did. The visual department alone just tells you everything you need to know about the story without even knowing the lyrics. Like, if you were to just look at this, you know, opening song, not understand Japanese, not look into the lyrics as meaning, and not even watch the series, watching this opening song alone, especially this opening sequence, will tell you everything you need to know about what the series is about. And I think it's really hard for anime openings in general to really get the very vibe and theme of what the show is about with its visuals sometimes, because sometimes it's easy just to do the very stereotypical silhouette showing the different characters' silhouettes and moving on to the next frame or something with a little bit of action. It it's really hard to tell a complete story of what the show is about in a very brief amount of time, like a minute and 30 seconds with opening visuals. That's not even narration. It's just showcasing it through either the song or through just the visual department of just like the movement of the characters. And I think that, you know, if there's any way to really recommend this anime to someone, I think you recommend them the opening song. And if they like the visuals and the opening song, that most likely will get them into the show. I really feel like whoever designed this opening, by the way, they took a lot of inspiration from from this Dead Man Wonderland which the very theme of Dead Man Wonderland if you've ever you know watched this anime and you know about it it's just like the visual department is very reminiscent of this opening like just look at the way the the hand is and how the strings break and then you know all of a sudden the strings grab him back up and you hear the chanting of children basically saying get back up soldier you got to get back there for your daily you know you know ass kicking so to speak it's just uh, a really interesting opening sequence because you can see that this character is done he doesn't want to be here and you know despite that he's continuously forced back up onto the stage to continue to fight and the chanting of this demented sounding children basically trying to cheer him up is just super super eerie and as you see him trying to like run away and like he, he's trying to get out of this nightmare itself you see them chasing in the strings the hands chasing after him and as he's trying to escape this hell itself you see him trying to drag him back in it's such a good beginning to an opening song because it really does let you know the the character for instance what he wants what he's trying to do with his motivation but also what the world is doing to him and the world is saying get back here you are under our control you do not have free will you cannot do what you want to do you need to get back on this stage and continuously get the crap beat out of you because you are the monster it is just such a good opening and it just it really blew me away when I watched this because it's like I was already interested in the show because people have been kind of hyping this up a little bit but when I actually watched this opening and wasn't spoiled I had no idea what to expect I was like damn like this is good like this is actually a really good opening now with that being said I will say, it takes a lot of talent for, I think, just animators in general to be able to tell a story like this with just, like, these brief little visuals, and just shout-outs to them. All, everyone that worked on this opening, and then also the song as well, just really, really good. Like, gotta say, it's probably my favorite opening of the season. Yeah, hands down. Like, I, I even more than Mushiku Tensei. Like, I don't think there's any anime from the season so far that I've watched that compares to just how good of a vibe that this opening song is. Now, with that being said, let's um, talk about one of the big reasons why you obviously clicked on this video, my confession. So yeah, I, uh, I have quite the confession that needs to be said, and I feel like, you know, this might change your guys' opinion on, on me quite a bit, because obviously I know there is quite a bit of you that uh, enjoy Super Sentai. I have never watched... A Super Sentai anime. I've seen, obviously, the memes. I've seen images, clips. I've seen, like, different anime and manga reference Power Rangers slash Super Sentai. But I have never sat down and actually dedicated time to watching a traditional Super Sentai show. I haven't. Or even read a manga of it. Which, I know, I know, I know. That's kind of strange. It's just like, as someone that's watched countless and thousands of anime at this point, it's just strange out of everything, I haven't watched much Super Sentai. And I really don't have much of an excuse for it. I'm going to be completely blunt. Just the only thing is, I've always seen it. I, I knew the general gist of it. It's just about, you know, these guys and girls, you know, being dressed up in different colors, like Pink Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Blue Ranger, etc. And, you know, they fight crime. They fight the evil entities and monsters or whatever within the world world and they take them down the heroes win and you know that's a vibe it, it can be definitely quite a vibe and very enjoyable I can see the audience for it but it's never something that I just went out of my way and I wanted to see because I don't know just it's 
didn't really have a reason to. Not that I hated it, not that I'm trying to smear it or anything, just I never went out of my way to watch a Super Sentai show. And, um, you know, I've always heard things that's just always a positive show, nothing wrong with that. Well, this series found out that it's basically Super Sentai, but a deconstruction of it, that's what caught my attention. It is literally The Boys. Like, anyone that actually knows about The Boys, the TV series, when you take a look at this in the very general vibe of what the show is, it is pretty much that. It's the anime version of The Boys. The the Power Rangers, the Super Sentai, the main characters, or so to speak, like Red Ranger, etc., they are the villains of the show. And what I mean is, is that they straight up, they boost their popularity by turning the monsters, the main villains technically of the world, or what the world kind of uses the villains into their slaves to continuously fight them to boost their popularity and make them look like good people. It's all a show, so to speak. They're all just trying to make themselves look better. And I think what really demonstrates the overall evil of this, like, you know, individual here is that when he sits down after killing his second-in-command, after he tries to say, oh, I want your, you know, position after you messing up, he smashes him into a wall, and then he continues to eat with his chopsticks while he has blood all over him. And it's just like, yo, what the hell? It is legitimately just and I just, I like how the show is a subversion of the normal Power Ranger vibe. Now, once again, this might come as a little bit upsetting for those that are major fans of Super Sentai, because obviously I don't know the original tropes and themes of it. But as someone that, you know, does like deconstructions or following the villains of the story to a speak, or just flipping everything on its head... I love these type of stories. It's like one of the reasons why I liked gushing over Magical Girls last season, is that it was kind of a subversion of the normal tropes, to where we followed the villains of a Magical Girl story instead of the heroes. And that's what we're having here. And I, I really, really love Go Go Loser Ranger for what it's obviously demonstrated in these four episodes alone. So yeah, FYI, there's only four episodes out at this current moment. I believe episode five is airing in like two or so days from now. Here, let me uh, look. Yeah, it's, it's airing on May 12th, so we have that to look forward to. I'm definitely going to be covering that. So that comes out, today's Friday, so that comes out on Mushku Tensei Day. Wait, it comes out in the morning, wait a minute. That comes out at 3 a.m. in the morning on Sunday? Oh my goodness, that's really early. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be up that early, but, uh, well, maybe. I do stay up late, actually. But uh, jokes aside, though... This series is legitimately jaw-dropping with just how good it is. It really blew me away with the opening visuals, but the ending song as well is just as good. From what I know of and what I've been told, and here, I'll just I'll show it. I think it's a lot easier if I actually show it, is that the ending visuals of the show reference normal tropes of Super Sentai. Oh, I guess this ep oh yeah, this episode does not have the ending song. I forgot about that. Let me uh let me go to episode three. Episode three has an ending song and I, I guess all of them technically do. Can you Hulu, can you uh let me do my thing. They, they, of course, they have to show Hulu here. They won't let me start my uh, episode. Anyways, um, if you go to the ending song, it is quite a vibe here. Like, the villain gets up out of the chair and stuff, and it just... It's CGI. Like, this is used as CGI here, and this is this is how you use CGI. Like, straight up. The ending is a vibe, and it references, like, uh, OG Super Sentai ending songs, and kind of how there always needs to be a dance with the Rangers, apparently. So, the fact that they do this with the Rangers, but also the Villains is really cool. So, th there's definitely a lot of those that, you know, like, really enjoy Super Sentai Power Rangers are going to really fall in love with this show, because it's like, there, there's probably a lot of nitty-gritty references to traditional stuff, while also flipping it on its head and doing something very unique. I really love that, but there's also something else I want to reference, and that is the voice acting cast is spectacular, and I think that this clip I posted earlier today really is the perfect way to showcase that. So this really brief scene has, you know, our main male character, which is the monster, you know, confronting one of the rangers that is obviously kind of a turncoat, and he's basically saying throughout this scene, like, you know, once I'm done using you, I'm going to cut you off and all that, and, you know, he's Natsuki Subaru's VA, FYI, like, th this is Natsuki Subaru, and as he's trying to turn against her, she's like, oh, how cheeky, and I feel like no matter where Natsuki Subaru's VA goes, he's always suffering with his character having to die, like, it happens with Subaru, now it's happening with this character, and I'm just like, bro, like, even his iconic hey, 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 really reminds me of just, uh, Subaru's VA. Just, just listen to this. <laughs> it literally sounds exactly like it. Like, he, 
Straight up, he channeling that Natsuki Subaru energy. I, I really love it. But um, overall, I, I really have to say that uh, Go Go Loser Ranger caught me by surprise. It's a really good show, and if you are into Super Sentai but you would like something different, then give this show a watch. I can't look at the clips because Hulu wants me to see the little advertisement here. But um, basically, if you like Super Sentai and you want something a little bit different, watch the show. Like seriously, this is this is really good. The like I said, the opening song alone really caught my interest. That would get me to start a show, just that in of itself. But uh, with the other stuff being known, oh yeah, I, w I would start the show if I found out about it. Now, one thing I do want to mention before I um, wrap up the video, I want to talk about this uh, very necessary scene that is, uh... <laughs> I, like, yes, um... Officer, we definitely needed this low angle shot of our main female lead bending over and saying I am sorry to the villain of the story. I <laughs> I want to leave it at that. I'm not going to give any more context. It's just like, bro, I... <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Anyways, be safe. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me how you feel about Go Go Loser Ranger. Are you going to watch it? Are you not? Be honest in the comments below. And with that, Chibi out.